Hi everyone, welcome to the vMix Fun Time Question Time with your host me, Cartoon Tim. Now in these videos we'd like to go over some common questions that we've received via emails or on social media during the week. So today we've got a little bit of a, a basic one for, for newcomers that are working out how to get video into their production. So we received an email this week from Carl. Now Carl says, Hi Cartoon Tim, I want to do a live production and have a couple of cameras but I can't work out how to get the video into my computer. I plugged the HDMI cables from one camera um, into the HDMI ports on my graphics card, but nothing is happening. Can you help me out? Thanks for your time. Confused in Cali, Carl Carlson. So thanks for your email, Carl. And yeah, this is a common question that we get quite a lot as how do I get a camera into my computer? Why isn't it working? What sort of capture device? Like, how do I do it? Um, so what we're going to do is today is we're going to go over some options for that. Now, when you want to bring a camera into your production, um, you're going to need a capture device. Now, Carl, Carl actually sent me through a picture, and the picture here you can see is he's trying to plug his cameras into his graphics card here. So he's trying to plug it in and nothing's happening. And that's because your graphics card is used for output. So it's trying to output um, your graphics to a screen or your monitor in order to show what it's currently doing. So unfortunately you can't actually input your cameras to your graphics card because it's for output only. So that's why you need to have a capture device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just stretch a bit here um, and I'm going to show you the different types of cards. So we have these are PCI Express cards, so these for in internal capture. So you can use these uh, slots here to install it into your computer's motherboard via PCI Express and then connect your cameras here. This one here is uh, an SDI um, supported card. Um, or you can use something like this which is multiple HDMI or even single HDMI or single SDI. They come in all different shapes and sizes. So they will use this connector here to connect to your computer's motherboard. Now alternatively, you can actually use uh, an external capture device, so something that will be used for uh, USB 3 or Thunderbolt. So this is a Yuan um, external capture that connects via SDI uh, and you can plug it in via USB. Here's a major one which is HDMI. Uh, as you can see with this Ava Media one, it's got the USB connector on the end so you can plug that directly into your computer. Now underneath here you'll see Thunderbolt 3 options, so AJA have a Thunderbolt 3 option um, which allows for a lot more data transfer so you can do multiple HD cameras and 4K and here's a uh, Thunderbolt enclosure that we built and we put a capture card into. Um, so those are your options for external capture. So people ask us, well what particular card should I use? Like, What, what am I going to use? So what we're going to do is I'll quickly show you the uh, vMix website. So on the vMix website you're able to go and have a look at what sort of capture devices we support. So here we are on the vMix website, I'll just jump down to the bottom here and if you go to the software and then supported hardware section you'll be able to select video capture hardware. So on this page here you'll be able to see all of the different supported capture cards or capture devices and as you can see here there is a giant list of different supported devices from all your different favorite manufacturers and you can select the different manufacturers from a list here so I can select Majewell and it'll drop down to that area so we'll list all of the different cards that are available. Now you'll notice up the top here that there's three columns um, we have the option to choose um, one of the any of the um, different models in the first one so the different brands that we have and that type of thing can be chosen um, so you can select um, the brand that you want and then you'll be able to see the model of that particular um, card underneath it. So then next to that we have the input section. So the input section will allow you to choose what type of inputs you want to use. So whether that's, the, like I said, for this first one is a 4x HD SDI and you'll see other ones that's 1x HDMI um, and it'll tell you whether it supports output as well. So this one here, the Decklink Quad 2 supports output as well. So you can have uh, a certain number of inputs and a couple of outputs as well. So that's what you've got listed in that second um, section there. Now in the third section um, you'll see the requirements. So the requirements here uh, are talking about um, how you connect it to your computer. 
So you can see from the top, PCI Express slot by eight. So if you were going to install this particular card to your motherboard, you would need to have a PCI Express slot that's supported by eight. If you go down here, you'll see our USB 3 options, USB 3, PCI Express, you'll see Thunderbolt options. So that third column will tell you um, what you're going to need to install it, whether it's PCI Express or USB 3 or Thunderbolt. Um, so if you go down the list, we have a huge list of different brands and stuff that are available to be used in vMix. Now we've tested every single one of these. So yes, we do have a giant cupboard uh, filled with capture cards, boxes full of capture cards and capture devices. So we've tested all of these to make sure that they work correctly. Now you might hear people going, oh, I bought this $30 capture device off eBay and it's awesome. But chances are, you know, it's probably going to work. 60% of the time, it's going to work every time. Um, so it'll probably drop frames and after 30 minutes, it might freeze up and you'll lose all of your signals and that type of thing. So just be very careful when purchasing a, a capture device um, as these ones we fully tested and we know are going to work properly in vMix. So yeah, if you're ever looking to buy one, check out this list first, compare all the prices and your budget, you know, how many cameras you're going to need, what type of connections, all that kind of stuff can be done via the website. So this is the place to come to to see what capture will work for you. Okay, so if you have any questions for me, feel free to send us through an email to uh, cartoontim at vmix.com or you can leave a message on this video on Facebook or on YouTube um, and I'll do my best to create a, um, a tutorial video for it. So um, thanks for watching and we will uh, see you later.